Welcome. I'm delighted that you are here. My name is Robin Richards, and I am your teacher and the creator here at Robin's Wellnest. I'm here to inspire and teach you empowered healing and wellness in all seasons of life. This is so you can enjoy a vibrant life regardless of challenges and change, which inevitably emerge. Here at Robin's Wellnest, I focus my teaching on mindset, mindfulness, and Reiki energy healing to merge science with the world of woo. That way, you have all the information to select tools that work best for what you need right now. Today, in this second lesson, I'm going to introduce you to me, my story of living empowered healing and what makes me a master teacher and healer for you. I know that you need this information because you want to learn and grow. And in order to learn and grow, you need to know a little bit about who's teaching you so that you can figure out why I'm qualified to be here and if I'm the right fit for this stage of your journey. So let's dive in. I'm going to share this component of my journey because it is a catalyst for what created everything in my life. But I do need to forewarn you that there is nothing but intentions of inspiration and support as I share this portion of my trauma that can be slightly triggering for many. So please just know where my intent lies. In kindergarten, I witnessed the murder of my mother in a domestic dispute with my stepfather. Now I'm a survivor of this childhood trauma and there are many factors that wrapped around me to create the survivor that sits before you as your teacher today. But one of the biggest factors was that I was one month into kindergarten and education existed before and after my trauma. Through education, I was given a constant opportunity to learn and grow and detach from the pain that I was feeling with the loss of my mom. Now from this amazing, supportive, constant environment of education, I looked and saw these wonderful women around me that were teachers and essentially healers, and I wanted to be like them. I have always had this calling to support and reach out to other people, but it really became crystal clear that I was called to be a teacher from the very beginning. I have understood that each person has infinite growth potential that is innate inside of us as humans. The issue becomes, how do we activate that potential? And that's what I brought to teaching when I formally trained as a high school math teacher. Now I chose math. I do love me some math and you're gonna learn as we <laughs> dive into all of this work that numbers are my jam and I find a lot of even spiritual beauty in numbers. But I chose math education because I wanted to focus on an area that is often challenging and closes doors and opportunities for many people. Special education was first on my list until I realized just how much paperwork and like legal policy was involved. So I became a high school math teacher. Now through that journey and because I am called to be a lifelong learner as well as a leader, I ended up transforming my education beyond my bachelor's degree. I hold my master's degree in curriculum and instruction and eventually I earned my education specialist degree in K-12 leadership, which is where I hold a principal license as well. Now through all of this work, I just continued to learn and grow not only in my area of expertise in education, but also in my own awareness of myself. And throughout this, one thing that kept holding me back was an imposter syndrome, believing that I wasn't good enough and that I only could teach in a classroom, even the opportunities to lead other teachers, they were huge hurdles for me to overcome. 
one significant point of success that led me to teaching you here today is that I have always been a Weight Watchers lover. I started Weight Watchers when I was 19 years old as a person who always struggled with my weight. Eventually, almost 20 years later, I became a Weight Watchers leader and coach when I lost and maintained a significant amount of weight loss. It was through leading and coaching Weight Watchers that I realized that teaching can expand beyond a public school classroom and that I love leading people in wellness. Now, in the midst of teaching in a public school situation and leading in Weight Watchers rooms, I also was dealing with my own process of healing and figuring out what it was that I needed to be able to move forward in my life when complex PTSD kept rearing its ugly head in my adult life. Now, there's a lot that emerged from my complex PTSD and from my own trials and tribulations with my mental and physical illnesses. But I want you to know this, regardless of what you experience, recovery is possible. It is a process. It is not easy, but it is completely worth it. So as I sit before you today, I do live with complex PTSD and I manage the symptoms that emerge. As well as I've been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, it is called Hashimoto's, that presents itself differently even if we share that same diagnosis. But that is something that I have to manage with both mood instability and physical pain and um, things that I have to address in my daily life. In, on top of all of these things, with my mental health, I have had to dive into the recovery world. And I sit before you as a sober woman who has recovered not only from alcohol addiction, but also substance abuse addictions as well. Recovery is possible. Now, there have been a lot of tools that I have not only experienced, but fully immersed myself in that have led me to this point of being able to be healthy and well and leading others in this work. Everything from EMDR therapy to EFT, emotional freedom technique, tapping, cognitive behavioral therapy, uh, graduating from a dialectical behavioral therapy group program, um, you know, working the recovery programs, the 12-step programs of AA, of Eating Disorders Anonymous, of um, adult children of alcoholics and dysfunctional families, and even extending into a recovery world called refuge recovery. All of these have just informed and inspired me to continue to cultivate a life of wellness and share the components that continue to resonate with me with others in this world of empowered healing, which we're gonna dive into into the next lesson. Throughout all of my healing, there have been some significant setbacks but I really have been gifted with an understanding and a support system that reminded me that setbacks are opportunities to recalibrate and grow. And so even when I was in the depths of the yuck, if you will, I was called to teach. And so some of you may know that many years ago, I created Mama's Momentum, which was a community focused on fierce healing, transforming trauma into triumph. Now, though that opportunity was exactly what I needed at the time, I have evolved into where we are now, Robin's Wellness, which is about empowered healing. And it's from a place that is more conscious and grounded and stable. And I am proud of that. I'm proud of where I've been and I'm proud of where I stand, and even more so, I see the potential of where I am going and where you're going as well. So congratulations. Now I do have to always name that lovely elephant in the room that exists, and that is COVID. COVID was really the cake topper for me that brought me a cocoon of time to really focus 
on what it was that was not fun, that was still causing me to feel the same feelings of anxiousness and anxiety. And so as a person who's a lifelong learner, throughout COVID, I not only was homeschooling and teaching my daughter kindergarten, but I also was schooling myself. I was working at recovery programs and I was focusing on meditation as a way to really get still and be able to hear the inner wisdom and guidance. Some call it God, some call it the universe, whatever it is that you choose to use, that's what I was tapping into. And through that stillness and that guidance, I then jumped into learning and I became a certified meditation teacher, also certified in mindfulness teaching, as well as a 200 hour yoga teacher with a certification. Throughout all of that, where my attention really went was to the world of energy healing. I wanted to empower myself with tools that I could use on a daily basis to help me continue to be in alignment and achieve balance, as well as help bring to the ones that I love and beyond in teaching those energy practices. And that's when I found Reiki. Now, Reiki has sprinkled in and out through my life, but becoming a certified Reiki master has been the component of my journey that I needed to bring you everything that you're going to be receiving here at Robin's Wellness. So know that I have many different opportunities for you to learn and grow with me from Reiki healing sessions virtually or in person if you live in the Lakeville, Minnesota or surrounding area. I also provide online workshops, a world peace meditation that is free for you and I do monthly. I have a weekly newsletter for continued inspiration, education and support. This YouTube channel right here and I also have retreats that continue to pop up with a very exciting Reiki retreat coming November 4th, 5th, and 6th at the Christine Center in Willard, Wisconsin. So contact me for more info. Now, if one of those tools is something that you want to explore, I encourage you to please learn and grow with me. But I want you to have a free resource for you right now to help you achieve your dreams. It's called the Success Blueprint. It's three research-based steps that align your life to manifest your vision. Now, if you've been looking for a process to get the results that you want in your life and enjoy the journey to get there, the Success Blueprint is for you. I want you to avoid what I faced throughout my journey, which was getting stuck in overwhelm, getting stuck in perfectionism, getting stuck in comparison. I want you to be able to see the path to live in alignment and achieve your dreams. And that's what this PDF will help you do. So head over to robinswellness.com forward slash the success blueprint to grab your copy of the three research-based steps aligning your life to manifest your vision. But no, I also I'm gonna place a link below. And I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss out on the empowered healing and wellness that's happening each week with new lessons loading on Mondays, but also so that I know that what I'm doing is effective and can continue to grow and send my vision of a peaceful world all around. Know that until next time, you are always enough, just as you are. You are powerful beyond measure. And I love you. Namaste.